you're about to see some of the steamiest TV series on Netflix. The streaming platform has a crazy lineup of R-rated series and shows that range from mild to graphic to overwhelmingly and disturbingly erotic. So here are the top 10 contenders. Obsession Starting with a series that leaves you just as the name implies, we have an obsession. The show centers on Williams, a stoic surgeon with a wife and an adult son named Jay. Everything is going great for the father and son until Jay gets a new girl named Anna, and he hesitantly introduces her to his dad. Upon meeting each other, Anna and William realize that they're very interested in seeing each other without clothes. So William begins an affair with his son's woman, one passionate, obsessive, and diabolical. Let's just say this particular romance puts the strain on his marriage, his relationship with his son, and basically every significant area of his life. The steamy scenes in this four-episode miniseries are quite daunting and passionate, with a little bit of sadism, but it really doesn't compare to some of the other series we have on this list. Devotion – A Story of Love and Desire Devotion – A Story of Love and Desire was based on the Italian novel known as Fidelita or Fidelity, and it's an Italian series that really calls into question the concept of faithfulness in marriage. In the series, we meet Carlo and Margarita. Carlo is a college professor and Margarita works in real estate. Now on the surface, the couple is in a very happy marriage, and I mean very happy one. These people love to get it on. Right off the bat from the opening scene, it was straight up passionate coitus. But trouble arises when Margarita catches Carlo serenading one of his students and she starts to suspect that he is being unfaithful to her, which sends her down a path of unconventional desires. The series is a prime example of how quickly things can get out of hand in a marriage, with suspicion, jealousy, and debauchery rearing its ugly heads. Easy Hey, wanna watch a comedy series called Easy? But the plot is anything but… Well, you're in luck, because Easy is thrilling, funny, and really hard to put in simple words, but I'll do my best. Easy is an anthology series in which every single episode sort of stands alone, and it involves the lives of a bunch of adults living in Chicago and the troubles they have with dating and relationships. Easy has a lot of characters and a lot of storylines, which is why it's hard to keep track sometimes. But we typically see some pretty interesting actors show up each episode, like Dave Franco, Jake Johnson, Zazie Beetz, Orlando Bloom, and even Hannibal Burris. But I suppose the recurring characters will be Kyle and Andy, a married couple who decide to spice up their love life by having an open relationship. It's as funny as it's erotic. Dark Desire now this is a Mexican series that starts simple, yet I have seen three seasons and I keep asking myself, how did we get here? So this is Alma, a law school professor. You see, Alma has a problem. Her husband Leonardo is keeping secrets from her and on top of that, she starts having an affair with one of her students. And as far as affairs go, it's a good one. There's a lot of energy, a real deep connection between the two. But next thing we know, someone Alma knows gets unalived, and for a while, we don't even know who did it. While that is happening, more and more love triangles start to arise. In season 1 alone, I counted at least 12, and then a huge scandal just erupts that absolutely flips the script. And two seasons later, it seems the stakes are only getting bigger. But it's not about that, honestly. It's about the sheer volume of eroticism the series has. It's a lot, even by Netflix standards. Say what you want, but the Mexican industry knows how to make content with a lot of sexual excitement. But still, I must confess that Dark Desire is PG-13, compared to some of the titles we have coming up. Sex Education now we're really getting into the peak steamy series on the list. Sex Education is exactly as the name implies. It's a show that educates its audience on matters of sex, love, and just growing up as a teenager. This series does not hold back in any way, form, or matter, and it's extremely funny. The protagonist of the story is Otis, played by Asa Butterfield, a socially awkward teenager whose mom and dad are sort of sex experts and therapists, which leaves Otis well informed in all things sex related. His schoolmates soon find out about his insider knowledge on the subject matter. So Otis teams up with a crazy badass chick named Maeve and starts his own personal sex ed course, where he helps his friends and sometimes teachers with their problems related to the bedroom. 
The show goes into the deeper layers though, especially with the side characters, who have a ton of identity crisis and are on a long and arduous journey of finding and accepting themselves that I think everyone can relate to. But that doesn't mean that the show slacks off in its erotic nature. Honestly, from the very first scene of the show, you'll have an idea of just what we're working with. Plus, if you're enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel will be greatly appreciated because we consistently have many of these videos coming out, showing you some of the best content each streaming service has to offer. So be sure to stay tuned. Elite Elite holds the spot as one of those series that has a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, so it's clear that the story is crazy. Elite is a Spanish drama series that's fun, mysterious, and overly racy. In the series, we meet three young people, Samuel, Nadia, and Kristen. They're bright kids from middle-class families who get scholarships to attend the prestigious private school in the whole of Spain, Les Encinas. Initially, the three are ostracized and shunned by the wealthy kids in the school, but as the series progresses, they get introduced to a world of lavishness and high levels of rich sexual appetites. With some insane doses of passionate sensual representations, that will leave you flabbergasted. There are about 8 seasons of the series, so there's plenty of content for you to enjoy. Sex Life Sex Life is a series that centers on Billy, a suburban wife, and her husband Cooper, who fails to satisfy her in the bedroom. Poor Cooper didn't know he was married to a sexually voracious woman who lived a party girl lifestyle before she got married. Billy is full of reminiscing about her ex, Brad, who is toxic to say the least, but turns out he was a legend in the bedroom. Her remembrance of her time with Brad deeply affects her relationship with her husband, which leads to some intense love scenes between the two, while Brad ends up having a relationship with Billy's best friend, Sasha. The interconnectedness between the four leads to a lot of bickering and fights, as well as the emergence of unconventional ways of sensuality that are really interesting to see. Super Sex Okay, now we're going deeper down the rabbit hole because this is one of the most steamy series on the platform. This Italian thriller has scenes that are just as graphic as its storyline. Full disclosure, the story is quasi-biographical, as it's loosely based on the nuanced life of Italian adult film star Rocco Sofredi. So what's the storyline? Well, it's about this guy Rocco Tano, a bright young man trying to make it big. Most of the plots in the series involve Rocco managing to undress himself and everyone in his vicinity. Honestly, you can't go an episode in this series without seeing nudity. It's heavily glaring. Yes, the series is extremely explicit, and you might get more than you bargained for. But at the heart of the show, it's a small man versus a big world type of story. It reminds me of those Bollywood films of old, about a guy managing to make something of himself in otherwise contemptuous world and industry. The story also explores themes such as sibling bonds, family ties, and strained affairs all jumbled with the aspirations of a young man. Sexify So this girl Natalia is an IT major, and she really wants to build an app, an app that will help her win the competition of best startup in her university. But the only thing she's interested in is how to get females to experience orgasms. I'm not kidding. This is her main concern. So to make it happen, Natalia builds an app called Sexify. Sexify helps both men and women optimize the female orgasm experience, and by doing so, helps the girls have healthier and fuller relationships. The series is a lot like sex education and sex in the city. It has a holistic message that helps people actually have a better bedroom life while staying healthy both mentally and physically. And it's not without its drama. This series is also extremely graphic and the steamy scenes are even crazier than the aforementioned series on this list, so tread carefully. Lady Voyeur Finally, we have Lady Voyeur. In my opinion, this is the most explicit series on Netflix. It's a Brazilian drama series that really takes steamy movies to another level. It follows the story of Miranda, a voyeuristic hacker whose neighbor is a sex worker. Miranda feels unfulfilled and sexually depraved, so she begins to experience a sexual awakening when she starts spying on her neighbors, and this sends her down the path of a lot of drama, passion, and desire. Lady Voyeur is a really cool drama series that's full of crazy plot twists, flashbacks, and a lot of depth with the characters. But honestly, it's the steamy scenes that are the most top tier, some of the most graphic I've seen on the platform. So that's it for all the top 10 steamy series on Netflix. Let me know if you've seen any and which one you're most excited to see.
Be sure to check out our other videos as we have more videos like this on the platform. As always, thanks for watching Cinema Cascade.